Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Vishnu from Poppy Stones and in this video, I will show you the 7 cool things you can do with Android developer option menu. To enable developer option, you should go to settings, about device and tap the build number for 7 times to enable the developer option. Once you've done all that, just hit developer option menu and the first one I'm going to show you is the process stats. This is just like battery usage on your phone but shows the RAM usage on your phone. So you can just see which app is been using the most RAM and how your phone is been managing its memory. To see more details, you can tap in app and it will tell you more about how much your RAM is used. You can also tap on graph on top and it will tell you more about your device RAM usage. And the next developer option that I wanna check out is force RTL layer. Basically this one switches everything into a right left layer. So now everything on your phone from the notification to any app on your system will be reversed and you can still read it. It's a pretty cool layer. The next step is actually two different options. These are both animation scale direction. It's just window and transition animation scales to be higher or lower. You wanna speed up your different transmission that you have on your system. Once you set this to 10x you see that animation takes way longer and if you decided to set it at lower you start noticing that everything feels so fast the next interesting develop option is force gpu rendering this actually uses hardware acceleration from your graphic process helps rendering the 2d objects do might help if your phone is performing kind of slow in some apps the next develop option is pretty interesting that is showing CPU usage. When you on this feature, it actually shows your CPU usage on top right to that currently your CPU processing and see how it performs in your device. And the another similar layer added in our developer option is GPU rendering profile. This shows the status of your graphic process instead of your regular process. So set this to show on screen as part and while using your phone you can see how your graphic is being handling. And the last option is limit background process. If your phone does not have a lot of RAM, then you should try this out. Hit this limit background process option and you can set the amount of background process that allow to run on your device. For example, if you have set two background process almost and you can see that two apps can run in the background which don't eat your RAM and there is lot more useful stuff present in this developer option. And finally, if you like my video then please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.